In 1977, which broadcaster conducted a series of in-depth interviews with former US President Richard Nixon? John Humphreys, Michael Parkinson, David Frost, or Trevor McDonald? I mean, I wasn't born in 1977. Um... I wasn't born in 1066, but I know what happened. <laughs> Well, thanks, thanks for putting me at ease, Jeremy. That's right, that That's, is uh, right. really good of you. I was just batting away really your Really good of you. Um, the gut instinct is Trevor McDonald. He was, you know, did a lot of political broadcasts. But do I know for certain? The answer is no. I don't think it's Parkinson. I don't think there's any point in me using a 50-50 because I don't, I can't narrow it down 2-2. Two, two. And I, I'm not certain of any of them. So, Jeremy, I'd like to ask you, please, for your... For sure? For definite. OK, um, here's what I think. The problem is, if I pretend I don't know, nobody at home will believe me. You're not a movie buff, obviously. No. Never heard of a film called Frost Nixon? I have, yeah. But... Bit of a clue there. <laughs> um, it, it is David Frost, famously. I mean, it launched his career. Okay. He got those three interviews with Richard Nixon, and the last one he got him to sort of confess to his sins on, on Watergate, and David Frost's career was made as a result. And it completely ended Nixon, and there's no doubt in my mind, and that's my final answer. I'm, I mean, you're still. I mean, having thought about it, you know, I've seen that film, Frost Nixon, now. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've, you've just said that out loud <laughs> on television now. That's a bit of a worry. Um, I'm going to take your advice, yeah. Jeremy. David Frost, final answer. OK, computer, could you reveal the correct answer, please? Well done, there you are. You've got a saxophone. <laughs>